the struggle committee and the students welcome the committee to the tent and protest dharna i think uh, you have witnessed on the campus the situation of the campus and how the administration is behaving i would like to narrate the incidents in sequence manner since i was the one uh, and many of my friends who were from the beginning of this particular incident we were involved in we were uh, we were we were part of going to the police station taking back him and uh, we were there when uh, like you know bringing the dead body out of his room if if i say any you know if there is any lapses in my uh, information please correct me the university prokta first was seen a phd student has lodged a complaint against mudasir saying that yes he is beating him and you know there is fight between two students and he has, he has requested enough number of times to the proctor saying that please solve the issue but the university this happened before three months but the university did not do anything maybe other than issuing some sort of notices they did not arrange for any counseling or talking with the students they just issued some shokas notice which they say but we did not find them before they were found after mudasir's death in his room on the day of this particular incident happened what we heard is and what we know is wasim went to proctor to say that look sir he is disturbing me and there is a fight between us he went to proctor to resolve the issue he went to proctor thinking that the university proctor is the administration person who will look after the entire issue and he will solve at the university level but there the university proctor who acted autocratically taking the entire power into his hands without resolving the issue or without looking into the complaint what wasim has given without inquiring is there any truth in the complaint or is there any fight between the students without looking into it he directly took him to the police station was seen to the police station and asked the inspector to bring or to take mudasir from his room to the police station mudasir he said that when he went to proctor's house proctor said abusive words to him by calling rascal and mentally disordered person he was abused when the research scholar a senior research scholar mudasir he retaliated his response to it saying that you cannot call me it hurts my self respect then the proctor said that how can you respond give response to a proctor i am the head of the university i am the in charge of the law and order based on that taking it a personal ego when the authority is questioned instead of looking into what is the matter he just took it at a personal level level and he took mudasir to the was him to the police station and asked the police to bring mudasir who was resting in his room when we got down from the from our hostel rooms at around 11 o'clock upon the news that the police van has come here since some of us are senior participants of the university and since we are in, uh, we are taking up many issues on the campus we knew some of the police people so we went and asked them why you are taking mudasir from the campus they said it is harish vijra who asked us to take mudasir into police station and then we called one of our professors saying that look sir one of our students without any inquiry or without any proper proceedings that too on friday night at 11 11 o'clock he is from kashmir he is being taken into custody could you please come and help us then he came and meanwhile while we were talking to that professor and informing him about all these things proctor vijra and maya pandit professor maya pandit they were crossing by the bashir hostel they were coming from this route we understood and it was evident from the circumstances that he, they were coming from police station after informing the police 
Then we started asking them, why did you ask the police to come to hostel and take Mudasar from his room? Then Maya Pandit Madam was explaining that he was, he was having some health problem. Then we said, if he has some health problem, if you say that if you, he has some health problem, why don't you take him to my hospital rather than a police station? Then the proctor came into between and we asked, police says it is you who have said, instructed the police to take him into custody. Then Vijra started saying that, the same words he repeated, I believe. I am the eyewitness and many of our fellow students are eyewitness. I think eyewitnesses can raise their hands who were present at that particular point of time. He said he is mentally disordered. He is a rascal. He needs to be in the police station. He deserves it. These are the words he used. And then we asked him, if he is mentally disordered, according to your own version, if you say he is ill, would you send your son to a police station or a hospital? The words he used is, he is not my son, he is a rascal. He has to be sent to prison. And when we started arguing with him, he left us. And we thought, since this guy is self-contained, he was friendly with everybody, he did not even go out of the university frequently, he self-contained. Since all of a sudden he is taken to the police station, he is hurt, we wanted to go and ensure that he is safe and bring him back to the campus to sort the issue at the university level, the students. We took the help of Professor Veda Sharan and we went there. And there he was sitting in front of the, at the reception counter of the police station. The inspector was talking to both of them. After seeing us, Mudasi started crying. He literally came on to us and he hugged one of our students who was very close to him, Sandeep Patil, and he said, he called me mentally disordered. Why Vijra is doing this to me? He cried for almost two to three hours. We consoled everybody. We consoled Vasim and Mudasim. We were there for 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, Veda Sharan has written a letter and we also, I also signed it saying that we are taking, this is a university level issue. The students have fought among themselves. The students' nature is such that they will fight and they will unite tomorrow. This is a university level issue that needs to be sorted out with proper procedures. We are taking him to campus that we have written and we took Vaseem as well as Mudasir outside and we have sent Vaseem to his friend's room in the campus itself inside a hostel and we have taken Mudasir to OU Usmania Chaistal where we had talked for two to three hours. We could not console him. He was crying all the time. Since we were outside, we thought that, you know, coming inside and uh, staying inside the room, since all the people were looking at us and say, uh, staring at us, we thought we should go inside and uh, talk to him and uh, so that we can uh, sleep and uh, all the things. Then we, from there, after two hours spending at Usmania Chai, Chai Stal, around two to three o'clock, we came to the hostel. Around that time, we came to hostel and Sandeep Patil's room number is C13. He slept in entire night. Mudasi slept on the bed. We were there ensuring his safety. We also asked. The administration did not ensure his safety. We, the students, asked for two security guards to stay outside the room. And believe me, Sandeep Patil did not sleep entire night. Krishna Halawat had frequent visits. After half an hour, he went to uh, Sandeep Patil's room and peeped through window whether uh, Mudasi has slept or not. This is what we have done whole night. And Sandeep Patil woke up Mudasir around 8 o'clock in the morning saying that Mudasir uto, jake fresh uto, bahar jake, bahar jake breakfast karke hain. So from then he left. And after that, since Krishna is a mess member, he went to mess, ate breakfast and he wanted to check whether this guy had breakfast or not. And he went to his room. There he saw Mudasir in towel going to bathroom for refreshing. So he thought, okay, he is going for fresh, and then he, we came back. From then, one hour, maybe with a gap of one hour interval, one of our friends, one or the other, ensured that he is safe on the campus. We confirmed that he had his lunch, and at around 2.40, 2.40, since we were calling from the morning, he might think otherwise, we asked one of his friends and our colleague, Narsima Doka, to call him, where he is. At 2.45 he called, he is the last one to call him, I think. Call him and... Uh, first he called him and then... First he phoned him. Then he said, 
I'm coming back from namaz. I'll meet you later. We thought if he is going back to, if he is coming from the namaz, it is everything is set right. 2.30 we gave a call and uh, at around 3 o'clock I think he called you saying that your syrup bottle is in my room. I have left it in D6, D6 another room. His room is D5, he left it in another room. He informed that and he said I am in my room safe. And after that, we, after coming from namaz, we thought he is safe. We went outside for some of our personal reasons and uh, we have the habit of going for jogging in the evening. We went back and came, came here. From the morning, the administration even we informed that night that he is suffering from depression. The administration, the proctor has abused him severely. He is under severe depression. He is crying. He needs some kind of consolation consol from the administration. Why don't you people come and give some kind of counseling to him? But the administration, nobody from the administration did not come even his visit once. In. So then, at night, Krishna had dinner and he wanted to check whether Mudasir had dinner or not. He checked with the person who issues the cards, mess cards. They said he did not come. Worried, he went to his room. He, it was locked from inside. He knocked, but he did not open. Worried and became suspicious. He peeped through the window. He saw Mudasir hanging through a rope. This is what happened. Okay, in, in police station he was crying. And in police station, he came to us when we when he saw we we went there. He came to us and said the entire thing was about him being abused as mentally disordered, mentally retarded and rascal. I am a research scholar. What he was saying, I am a research scholar, senior research scholar on the cam campus. How can he, he call me that? He was saying and saying that Proctor mujhe pagal kehta. Me kya pagal sach mein hu? Entire night he was crying. And then, after that, the administration, how the administration behaved, I also would like to bring to your notice, how administration was behaving from his suicide. We were the students along with security guards and mess, uh, mess both class employees. We broke open the door. Some of our friends broke open the door along with the security guards. And we took him outside. We asked for the ambulance. We sent him in ambulance to hospital. They went to Durga Bhai Deshmukh Hospital, some of our friends, thinking that the university has an official registration with Kamineni Hospital. They might take him to Kamineni Hospital. We went on our bikes to Kamineni Hospital. But from there, when we called this ambulance driver, they said they have taken him to Durga Bhai. And we came back. Until we came back, Vijra was there on the campus. When we students came back on four or five bikes, the Vijra disappeared all of a sudden who was accompanied by some of the teachers inside. From then, we have been asking, agitating, protesting, requesting the administration to suspend immediately Dr. Vijra, who is responsible for all these things. Produce him before the, before the police. There itself, since we are the eyewitness to his suffering, since we are eyewitness to what Proctor has said to him, we lodged a complaint. With the police, they have registered a fire. But the university is trying to protect him in all the means. The VC did not even come to the campus to see the dead body. The registrar came here that too after two hours of his death. And then, after our demand for the administration to show their face, they have come here. The registrar came here and then he, even, he said that it is not in my capacity to look into your demands. I am not the responsible person. Then we asked, why did you come here? Then we asked, why did you come here without having any responsibility or anything? He has been calling Vice Chancellor before us and going towards us. some corner, he called Vice Chancellor. But the Vice Chancellor many a times did not pick the call. And she said, this we all of us had let the law take its own course of action. By then the university was full of police, paramilitary people. By then a university a police van with full of armed guards and even this tear shell gun, they were there parked behind this gate number three. 
40 to 50 armed policemen with lorries, they have come here and they staged there. CI, 2 to 3 SIs and an ACP. They were there. DCP. She said, let's law take its course, own course of action. But she is not going to come to at least see the report. Upon the assurance of the registrar and that they will bear the charges and he has taken a complaint from us. We have given it to the then registrar that, look sir, we are giving you a copy of demands. These are all demands. We have taken a, a, a sign upon it saying that we have many occasions where the university has deliberately lost the files. We have taken a signature of the registrar saying it is received and he acknowledged it. As we expected, it happened. They lost it. The letter says, to the Vice Chancellor, EFLU, subject, okay. Okay. received M. Sudhakar, and the demands are, Our friends, we are very grateful to the student body that you gave us so much of your time. We've had a, what I believe to be a very rich interaction where several concerns have come to us, not just of this university. Let me assure you, many of them are shared by students across universities in India. Our task is really to examine these problems that students face, that faculty faces, uh, that non-teaching staff faces, and look at the deterrence to cultures of violence and cultures of impunity and cultures of silence. So on the basis of our interaction with you, we hope that we will be able to make some kind of positive recommendation.